Hi guys, welcome back to my new video and today in this video I will create a website design using HTML and CSS. So this is the web page that I am going to create in this video and it looks very good. First we have the gradient color in the background. Then there is a logo, some text and one link. You can see the length of this line is increasing when I move cursor over this link. In the right side there is an image. We will create this website design using HTML and CSS step by step. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Easy Tutorials if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. First we have this folder here and in this folder we have index.html file and a style.css file. I have another folder with some images and logo that I will be using on the website. You can find this image link in the video description. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor. So this is the HTML file. I have written basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file. I have added margin padding and font family. In the HTML file I have added this line of code to connect the HTML file and CSS file. Next we will write the code in the body tag. So in this body tag we will create one div with the class name container and we will write this container class in the CSS file. For this one we will write the CSS properties like width, mean height, background, it will be radial gradient, then we have to add two color code. After that we will write color and position relative. Now I will open the HTML file with Google Chrome and you can see the gradient color on the complete web page. Let's come back to the HTML file and here we will add one image and let's add one class name for this image. So the class name is logo. Let me use this class name in the CSS file and for this one we will add margin from the left side and we will add height. After that you can see this logo on this web page. Next we will add some content in one div. So just come back in the HTML file. We will create one div with the class name content. And here we will add the text in h1. Then another text in h2. And some text in p tag. Then we will add one link. For that I am using a tag. And the link text is discover more. After adding this we will refresh the web page and you can see all these text and link. So we have to change its position. Just copy this class name content write it here in the CSS file. For this content we will add maximum width. Then there will be some space from the left and top. So I am adding margin left and margin top. Position will be relative. Now it is over here. Next we will write the code for the h1, h2 and p tag. So just come back and copy this content then write h1. For this one we will increase the font size and margin and font weight. Let's duplicate this one and it will be h2. For this one we will add different font size and margin and opacity. Now it is looking like this. Next we have to add CSS for this p tag. So just come back and copy this content then write p and for this one we will write the font size 12 pixel which will be a small then margin and color then line height 18 pixel. So now you can see the small text for this p tag. Next we will write the CSS for the anchor tag. So here we will add one class name it is link. Just copy this class name link write it here in the CSS file. And for this one we will set the color and text decoration it will be none. Then display inline block and we will add some margin 20 pixel and 0 and position will be relative. After that you can see it is looking like this. Next we will add one horizontal line after this link. For that just come back and copy this class name link then write after. Here we will add content it will be empty. Then background this will be white and height. 1 pixel and width 60 pixel then position will be absolute and top left and transform translate y minus 50 percent. 
So now you can see one line after this text. Next we will add the hover effect on this link. So just come back and add this link here. Then write hover, then write after. So here we will increase the width 100 pixel. So initially width was 60 pixel and when we will hover this it will become 100 pixel. Here we will add transition 0.5 seconds. Let's refresh the web page and you can see when I take cursor over here the length of this line is increasing. After that we will add some text in the left side so just come back and in this div after this a tag we will add one span. In this span I will write 3rd October 2020. So it is coming here. Just come back and copy this span, write it here. And here we will write position absolute so that we can change the position. We will write the left and top. Then we have to rotate it. So I am writing transform rotate minus 90 degree and letter spacing and opacity. Now it is coming here. It is rotated by 90 degree. We will add one line after this text also. So just come back, write this span here, then write after and let's copy everything from this after. Just copy and paste. Remove this transition and instead of this height 1 pixel, we will write 2 pixel. That's it. And now you can see one line for this date. After that we will add one image in the right side. So just come back in the HTML file and here we will add one image so I am adding img tag and the image file path and we will add one class name here. So the class name is featured img. Copy this class name. You can see right now this image is coming like this. So just come back in the CSS file add this class name over here. For this image I am adding position absolute and right 0 bottom 0. Then width 50% and maximum width it will be 680 pixel. So now you can see this image in perfect size in the right side at the bottom. Next we will add one search icon so just come back and duplicate this line of code and here we will replace the image so it is search icon and change the class name so it will be search img. Let's copy this class name search img write it here in the CSS file. For this one we will write the position it will be absolute then left and bottom then width it will be 21 pixel and opacity 0.5. Now you can see this icon at the bottom in the left side. So this is how we can create a beautiful web page design using HTML and CSS. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.